I don't know how to come off with this, uh, but let's get real for a second. Don't want to make a glare. I mean, I can still kind of see well, <laughs> but um, don't want the glare on the glasses uh, on the screen. I mean, trying to get more serious here. Um, but as many of you know, I've been trying to finish my book series, but uh, been struggling with it for some time now. Too many things in the way. Like, uh, like, a real job, and stuff, well, real anyway, don't really like it, who likes their job, let's be real there, who likes their job, um, I want to be an author, but, well, with, uh, WordPress being diminished and people aren't reading books as often as they usually do, or it used to anyway. It's all ebooks, which I, I guess it's fair, but I, I prefer actually holding a book in my hand. Like, like here we go. Here's a classic. Here's a classic. Who remembers this book? Look, this is all the Narnia in one book. I mean, seriously, the pages, the, the coloring, pictures even? I mean, you can read this in almost any light, really, except for pure dark when all the lights are off, but something you could actually hold in your hand. But, um, that's a little off track. <laughs> Let's put you back. But it looks like Narnia wants to stay out of the closet. Okay. I'll put you there then. For now. But uh But um so into my recent news I hired myself a <clears throat> I hired myself a ghostwriter to help me stay on track, get the book out there. I really want my book series. I have enough ideas for eight books, but just haven't really had the time to sit down and actually write them out. Um, it's a little hard for me. <sighs> stay focused. But, uh... So, and, um, I'm still looking for voice actors to help, um, act in my books. All you have to do is just apply. I'll take about anyone. I got, like, that hundreds of characters. Maybe not hundreds, but a lot of characters, so I could use different voice ranges. High, low, doesn't matter, I could only vo voice so much. Um, but having different personalities, I mean, I can only voice maybe one character truly, the rest are just there, and I want, I want it to be more real, like this video, I'm trying to be more real, um, I don't really know how to do that, because, I mean, what is real? Seriously, what is real? Nobody really knows, I mean... The Matrix explained it, but... in But in a more realistic sense, um... I, I don't know what people want. I mean, YouTube algorithm changes all the time. I've seen other content creators that I really love say this all the time, but... I don't really care about the algorithm that much. I just want to have content that I enjoy, that I hope every else enjoys, but a lot of people just, I don't know. Again, my channel is still fairly young, maybe six plus years though, but 
I remember a time when AMVs used to be a thing. I, I had lots of people watch those, but when the Google Nation took over, I deleted all those videos because I had hundreds of copyright strikes. All those videos, all those editing, hard work I did, trying to line up the scenes with a certain song, just gone. Those are also on like like 10 computers ago. All that data is lost though. But but yeah, uh so had to delete them or fear that my channel would get deleted even though it doesn't really matter if my channel got deleted back then, but I'm trying now. I'm trying to do stuff that every likes. I'm doing various things. Maybe as simple as unboxing a few things that I enjoy that I hope you guys want to see. It's like, hey, look, I got this cool thing I want to show off. That's my point. I'm not trying to be a sellout or be, you know, you know, just that one guy that just does unboxing videos. I'm doing it because it's simple and my, my uh, ammo crossing one, that was, that took a lot of effort. I used uh, the 3DS to do um, motion capture where I could keep moving the amiibos around and so it looks like they're moving around like like Tim Burton movies. That's what I was trying to do. That was kind of fun. I want to do more of that, but I don't know. Some other people do that and I don't want to step on their toes, but let's see. But yes, voice acting and I have a ghostwriter. Uh, those are two very real things I really want. It's as um, a quote I I've, I've remembered for like a lot of a lot of my life uh, for as long as I can remember. But um, courage is the magic that turns dreams into a reality. That quote will stick with me forever. It's it's my form of inspiration, really. But you know, it's getting hard to see now. Time for the time to put the glasses back on, but now you see a glare. But I could adjust it like this to where you don't see the glare. But um, well, that's uh, everything I have for the news right now. Um, I know. I, I wonder if this is a channel update video. I don't know. <laughs> I, I've tried doing this for my book for some time, but. Then I, but I wanted to generate an audience by doing some Let's Plays, uh, or unboxing popular things, that, I, or at least things I thought was popular for a while. I wanted to generate an audience and get a subscriber feed um, going, but nothing seems to be working. But, oh well, I, I'm just trying to do this for fun anyway. But, uh, and now... For other news that I feel everybody knows about, everybody's gonna be talking about this, but uh, I don't know why I'm gonna say this anyway. But PewDiePie recently hit 50 million subs, and so he's gonna delete his channel. So uh, that's that for the news. That's major news, really. That PewDiePie, the most famous YouTuber, or that apparently everyone subscribed to is going to be gone, or at least a reboot of his channel later on, but maybe he's trying to get that actual sub feed, like right? people who actually want to watch his stuff to subscribe. That's that's my reasoning behind his logic, but uh, what do I know? I'm just a newbie, but uh, well, um, I guess that's that. And I will see you all later. Bye.